Hello everyone, good day to all of you and today I'm gonna talk to you about God wants you to be blessed. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 8 verse 1 to 4, it says that as Jesus came down the mountain, he was followed by large crowds. Suddenly a man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus. He said, Lord, you have the power to make me well if you only wanted to. Jesus put his hand on the man and said, I want to, now you are well. At once the man's leprosy disappeared. Jesus told him, don't tell anyone about this, but go and show the priest that you are well. Then take a gift to the temple just as Moses commanded and everyone will know that you have been healed. My friends, today, if you are, if you are sick today and if you have a lot of difficulties in life, you have a lot of problems, you feel that you are not blessed and you are asking God, is it your will for me to be blessed? The Bible says, Jesus said that I want to. Now you are well. So it is the will of God for you to be blessed. The truth is, the thief which is the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy you. But Jesus came that you might have life and have it abundant life. So yes, it is the will of Jesus. He came that we may have eternal life because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ. But He also wants us to have abundant life, meaning life to the full. So yes, it is the will of God for you to be blessed because the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord add riches and He adds no trouble in it. So the blessing of the Lord brings riches and He adds no trouble in it. So it is God's will for you to be blessed. To be blessed in your spiritual life, in your physical life, meaning you, are, you need to be healed. And also your financial life, God wants to provide you for all of your needs according to His riches and glory through Jesus Christ. So it is God's will for you to be blessed today. And the, bless, and the greatest blessings that you will ever have is your relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If He healed people 2,000 years ago, He can heal people today. So those who are sick, you will receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Only believe, do not be afraid, and you will be well. Jesus is Lord and He is in control of everything. God is in control. So have faith in Him. Believe in Him. And God is pleased when we have faith. So without faith, nothing is, without faith it is impossible to please God. But if you have faith, it is possible to please God. And if, and if you have Jesus in your life, all things are possible. So today, if you have not received Christ into your heart and life as your Savior and Lord, I give you this opportunity to receive Him today. Are you sure that if you die today, if you close your eyes today, you will open your eyes in heaven? God wants you to be saved. God wants you to have eternal life. God wants you to be in heaven with Him when you die. So, God loves us so much, but because of our sins, we separate ourselves from His love. But Jesus died for our sins, so and He rose again. So the moment we accept Him as our Savior and Lord, we will have eternal life, and we will become a child of God. So today, if you want to receive Jesus into your heart and life as your Savior and Lord, I invite you to pray this prayer of faith. Just say, Heavenly Father, I am sorry for my sins. Today I receive your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, as my Savior and Lord. And starting today, I will follow your will. In Jesus' name, Amen. My friends, if you pray that prayer, if you repent of your sins and you accept Christ today, I believe that you are now a child of God. Keep honoring God, keep reading your Bible every day, and you will be more like Jesus. So, God loves you and He really does. Thank you and see you next time.